Hello, in this video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to take an exact clone of your blog using WP Twin. Now you can see here that I have a blog that's already set up the way I want it. The theme is customized. I have all of my categories and pages set up and I have a whole bunch of content here and there's also a bunch of plugins installed, a shopping cart, and an autoresponder plugin, and various other tweaks. I want to take an exact copy of this for backup purposes and if I want to move it to a new host. So the first thing we need to do is we need to upload the wptwin.php script with our FTP program to the root of where our blog is. Now here I am in my FTP and I'm going to copy wptwin.php to the root of my blog. And now I need to visit my blog URL, wptwin.php. If you are not already logged in to your blog's admin, you'll have to log in right here. So click here to proceed, and then enter your blog username and password of your administrator. Then you'll be taken to the wptwin main screen. By default, wptwin just copies the WordPress specific files and folders. However, if you have extra folders in your blog that you want to copy, you can choose the checkbox to include non-WordPress folders. Now, if this blog is installed on a primary domain and you have subdomains or add-on domains, particularly in HostGator and other cPanel-based hosting accounts, you'll want to be very careful using this option because this will get copies of all of your files and folders in all of your add-on domains. If your blog is already in an add-on domain or a subdomain, this is not as critical. Now, because I have additional graphics and tweaks to my blog that are not in WordPress folders, I'm going to go ahead and check this box. But if you're just running a standard WordPress blog, you don't need to do that. Now all you need to do is choose Click to Clone. Once WP Twin is done cloning your blog, you'll have a link to download your clone file. So you'll want to download this clone file to your computer. Once you have downloaded your clone file to your computer, you want to go ahead and delete this clone. The clone file name is rather difficult to guess, but if somebody is able to download it off of your website, they have an exact copy of your blog that they can use. So we always delete this clone when we're done. And we're finished. In the next video, I'll show you how to deploy this clone to another domain or a subdomain.